So this is my first video, and today's day is Monday the 26th of 2016. This is a, a drawing or stippling that I did in 2005. I have a habit of making my initials and the dates on my work very small. Very small down here, it says 9 as in September 05, and it has my initials M-E-W, which were my initials at the time. My initials are now M-E-G. But just for the sake of it, it is actually there, and that's a five right there. So um, I'm starting with this one because this is pretty much when I first began to draw. Um, I was going through some stuff in my life, and I was very frustrated, and I needed an out. Of course, as a kid, I drew. Most kids do like to draw. Um, but I hadn't really worked on drawing seriously anything in ages. Um, in fact, anytime I did try to draw, I hated it because it just it was so cartoony to me. And one of the things with taking this kind of a drawing, as far as stippling goes, was something I'd never tried, and I thought, well, this will be a good way to break out of that cartoony phase or feel when I draw things. So what I did was the first thing was decide what I wanted to draw. And a monkey was not the first thing that came to mind. It was just, okay, I'll pick an animal, because I like animals. Um, what I ended up finding, though, was this book. It's uh, Smithsonian Mammal. And... I thumbed through the book, trying to find something that well, was animal, not mat related. Um, but something that really stuck out to me that would look good in black and white. Um, and then I wasn't inspired until I closed it and looked at this, the back cover here. This is what got my attention. I thought, what a great picture. That is exactly what I like, because he looks like he wants to talk to you. And sorry about the glare from the light. It's raining and... Uh, so I just had to turn on some extra lights. So this little guy right here was my inspiration. And I'm going through some laryngitis, so my voice is kind of crackly. Um, so a la my little guy Mookie versus my inspiration. And I think it came out pretty good. What I'm going to do, though, is explain to you. First thing I did was pencil. I just took my page, which really was computer paper. I now draw with watercolor paper. Um, but at the time, I didn't know any better, and I was just starting out, so it didn't matter to me what I was drawing on. I didn't have any ideas. So I just got a piece of paper and popped them down. And I wanted something because I, I didn't know how to size anything or how big the picture was going to be. Um, so I literally wanted something about the size of the, the page that I was looking at, or the photograph that I was looking at, so that I knew it would fit. So that's why, or part of the reasons we've got this guy here. Um, so I sketched him out with pencil, very light sketching, and didn't add any detail, because one of the things I've learned, excuse me, is um, some good advice I got was, when you're drawing, don't try and fill it in all at once. Think of it as making a cake. You can't add detail until you've you know, mixed all your ingredients, baked your cake, and it's dry. Dry and it's firm. Anyway, so I made sure I didn't go trying to fill in all the detail with pencil. Instead, I took my time and I calmed down and I did sections, which was some other advice somebody had given me was just do a section at a time. You know, when, when you look at your drawing or your subject of what you're going to draw, if you particularly for feeling overwhelmed, you know, focus on just the ear. And you can even make a little, you know, cut a hole out in a paper or a little square. And I know that they sell tools like that too, but you can just by little squares work on your drawing so that you're just really focused on one thing at a time. So that's what I did with Mookie. Um, I mean, I, I uh, would do one section at a time, but of course I'd still go back and, and rebalance him as I was working so that he wouldn't become too heavy in one area. Um, which obviously was one of my hopes. And as you can see, going the wrong way, um, these are all little dots. I did not cheat. All those are, are little dots in spite of any of them looking like lines. They're not solid lines. They are all dots. His eyes are Prismacolor pencil. But this little fella here is all dots. When it came to his fur, I thought of feathers. I don't know why, because it's supposed to be fur, but I just 
the process was just nice and relaxing to me. So I guess like feathers, soft, relaxing. It's kind of how I thought about all of it. So I kind of did like a feathery feel to it. At least in my eyes it is. Um, and that's how Mookie came to be. He's usually one of the first things I show people when I show them work that I've done uh, because he's pretty enjoyable, I find. And I get nice responses from him. In fact, I'm using him as my mascot on my YouTube channel here. Uh, the pencils, not pencils, the pens that I used, something probably everybody's familiar with. I really am not going through puberty. It just sounds like my voice won't stop cracking. These guys. This is the tiniest one. Yeah, you can't really see, but it did make dots. And then um, I used all, I used up to, shoot, I think there's, I think I just used three pens. And then I used also the five um, for this. Because I just, I don't know, I just needed to do the tininess. It was it was good for me. It's cathartic. Um, I will be making other videos. This is just my very first one to kind of introduce myself. Um, I'm going to have videos on all sorts of different things that I create. Um, obviously 2005 was quite some time ago. I've only done two other stippling projects since then, or actually one other complete one, which is an owl. I'll show you that sometime. And one I'm working on now, which is an octopus, which I'll also show you, but he's, he's like midway. Um, I make all sorts of stuff though, so um, I hope that you enjoy this. I know it's not a whole lot, but it's a start. And if you have questions or comments, please let me know, and I thank you for your time.